many of you will admit that you've ever yelled at the TV to clean up the silly Yeah. <laughs> You're my people. Keep the hands high. Keep them high. Look around. If your hand is not up, you are lying. <laughs> and by the way, I'm talking Bob Barker. All right? I'm talking Bob. Bob Barker. So, I will never, I grew up in Durham here. Never forget the day. I was 15 years old. My mom and I were watching The Price is Right together. We always did in the summer. Had lunch. I beat my mom yet again on the showcase showdown. <laughs> and I looked at her and I said, Mom, I'm going to shake hands with Bob Barker one day. I don't know how. But I just set a goal. And it was more than a goal, but it was a vision. And then my mom responded like, um, that's your goal in life? <laughs> and then she reminded me yet again I would switch to her. <laughs> but I had this fascination with The Price is Right that I can't explain. It picked me. Our passions in life, we don't choose. They choose us. They choose us. And I had a lot of people that laughed at me at, with this vision that I had for wanting to meet Bob Barker and shake his hand on that. So growing up, my mom and I, we'd go to the grocery store. She'd be shopping for groceries. I'd be studying grocery prices. <laughs> you know, a teenager should not know the price of Metamucil. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. $6.99, but still, I mean, I should not know this. What I really did was some new centuries, okay? Yeah! Uh, so, I go to college. I meet with my academic advisor in my course of my first year. She tries to get me into an uh, 11 a.m. class. That's when the price is right. Uh, I told her I had a commitment. She says, of what? You're a freshman. I said, well, that's what I watched the price is right. Like, thinking, doesn't everybody do that? And then she responded that I would not be there very long. <laughs> and of course, I believed it at that point. But she gets me to a 9 o'clock English class, thank you. And the first assignment that we had in that English class was to write a descriptive essay on anything that we wanted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Price is right. She said, three pages, I did it in five. <laughs> Why the show was so great? We had the bright, bright spotlight shining across the screen. Right. A week later, I get the paper back. A week later, I get the paper back. And I open up the paper, and it reads, Kevin, see me after class. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, not a smart kid, right? I go see her after class. Dr. Adams holds up my paper up in front of my face and says, Kevin, this is one of the best papers I've ever read <laughs> at this class assignment. But you're obsessed with the show. <laughs> <laughs> and you need help. <laughs> she then gave me the number for the counseling center. <laughs> and I went. So, but I continued to watch The Price is Right every single day, and I loved it every single day. I look forward to it every single day. I never had a college course at UNC Wilmington at 11 a.m. <laughs> well, that was so easy because you got to keep them, right? I mean, back in the day, I'd actually, you know, if I had to record it, put a VHS in and hit. You know. so, but I never knew how. That's probably the most important piece of this entire story. I had a vision, but I didn't know how. And I think many times in life, we allow the how to get in the way. And what we've really done is we've allowed ourselves to get in our own way, and we wonder why we don't achieve the results we want sometimes. The greatest invention that started all with what? An idea. 